This is Raptor News. And if you don't get what I'm saying right now, you don't get into heaven. Again, and I, I'm, I'm real. I'm going to read it to you and it's real. There is a battle system. And if you don't get what I'm saying right now, you don't get into the kingdom. And that's facts. Forgiveness and the balance system. And it is a balance system. So God designed this world that whatever you put in, you get out. Live by the sword, you die by the sword. Sow and you shall reap what you sow. Take captive and you'll be taken into captivity. Let's start with Matthew 6.15. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will God forgive your trespasses. If you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will God forgive you your trespasses. And this is exactly how it works. If you want to be forgiven, you have to forgive. And if you've done a lot, let's say you've done drugs, you've done this, you've done murder, you've done this and that. Whatever the hell you've done. Well, if you can't forgive other people their trespasses, why should God forgive your trespasses? He ain't. He only going to show you yourself. If you end up in hell, it's because you were hell. And so I'm sending this message out directly to one person. And I believe that one person will get it. You have to forgive your father. You got to forgive your mother. You got to forgive those people who have done you wrong. Or else you don't get into any of God's holy places, sanctuaries, heaven, his kingdom, the new earth. You get nothing but the hell fire because something is wrong with you. You are defective. So again, I'm going to make it brief because it's simple. If you forgive not men their trespasses, and that's all men. Neither will God forgive your trespasses. Because he told you to live peacefully, if at possible, with all men. Let's keep moving to show you that I'm right. Mark 11:25. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against your brother, that God also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Again, when you're standing in prayer, forgive. If you have anything against anybody, forgive that God also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Otherwise, you're just self-righteous. You do wrong, but you don't want to forgive other people when they do wrong. You want to be forgiven in the eyesight of the Most High God on Judgment Day, but you can't do the same. So he puts a story in there about a king, right? And a servant. And that servant owed the king money. And then the king let the servant go when he begged for his life. And then that servant went and abused somebody else. And then he got far worse than he would ever get. Because the king did him a favor, which is supposed to be a representation of God. But he didn't, he didn't do as the king did. Luke six thirty seven. Judge not that you be not judged and you shall not be judged condemn not and you shall not be condemned but forgive and you shall be forgiven so stop having judgments of people stop condemning people to say this person my father this person my mother my brother my sister they are truly wicked people and I condemn you as the wicked what about Esau? Oh, I'm condemning. Even if God say Esau and Edom and everybody is your enemy, who cares? When did he tell you to condemn them? No, he told you to vex not a stranger, didn't he? Right? Right. Psalms eighteen twenty five, and he also told you to be a light. With the merciful, God will show himself merciful. So God is the most merciful of those who show mercy. 
with an upright man, God will show himself upright. So if you're devoutly obedient to God and you're on your straight path doing straight things, the straight and narrow path, not wide is the gate, the straight and narrow, then God is going to be straight and narrow with you. Get right to the point. Easy judgment. Go right into my heaven. Ezekiel 33, 9. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, what is that warning called? It is called salvation. You are warning him to save his soul from hell. So you're offering him with the warning salvation. If he do not turn from his way, it ain't on you. God is judging you by your deeds, what's in your heart, and what your intent is. Even if you fail in your mission. So if he don't turn from his way and you warned him, he shall surely die in his iniquity. He gonna go to hell. But you have delivered your soul. So we'll do a quick recap again. It's a balance system. You live by the sword, you're going to die by it. You sow, you're going to reap. You take captive, you're going to be taken into captivity. But if you forgive, you can be forgiven. If you cannot forgive, you won't be forgiven. If you can show mercy, God can show you mercy. If you can let go of shit, you know, forgive people of their trespasses, God can forgive you of the things you did. But God ain't forgiving you of shit, and he ain't going to have mercy on you for shit. If you do not show it to his creation, forgive all, everybody that you possibly can forgive and let it go out of your heart. Let God do what he going to do. Forgive and over, overlook, let go and let God. This is Raptor News.